First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Down here with team number 2194, Fondy Fire, checking out more about their team. We're going to talk about their uh, intake. We're going to talk about their autonomous that they chose to do this year instead of the uh, hybrid between the sandstorm. Uh, we also have some other cool things going on that we're going to talk about here on Behind the Bumper. So uh, we're going to introduce these uh, awesome students to talk about their robot and go through some of the different applications. So we're going to start with the climber on your robot. Uh, so why don't you introduce yourself, t take us through the climber. My name is Jonathan Uselman. Uh, I am a second year at Fondy Fire team, and our climber this year uh, was very auto. We have two functions for our climber. We can go to second level or third level, and we have a demonstration for you right now. We first hit the uh, a button to start the climb, which drops the front climbers. And then we hit two bumpers on our controller that begins the climb. The back and the front uh, go down more. Then we would generally go forwards onto, navigate forwards onto the platform. And then we would hit the buttons on the joystick to retract the, all the climbers. And then we would go further on so that we're positive we're on the platform. And our robot is secure. So moving on, I want to talk about something uh, that we mentioned. So you guys actually won two autonomous awards this year uh, at, at regional. So I want to talk about that. Why did you choose to go full autonomous this year uh, instead of kind of uh, adapting to the new sandstorm? And how did it work out for you? Uh, as a team, we don't really care that much for driving with the camera, and we did a lot of off-season work on auto and using trajectories, so we decided we already had a bunch of work done with it, so we would just go with it and do what we could. And we got it working really well, I think. We won a couple of awards, so that's good. Uh, one of the biggest things we used was the limelight over on this side. Uh, uh, we used a lot of vision correcting so that instead of lying it up super precision, you can count on your vision to sort of correct for you a little bit. And we, we use all our subsystems in our auto to make sure we, we place and pick up where we want to end up. Um, and I know you're going to cover a couple other things on your robot. So, of course, we have uh, some of the intake uh, mechanisms in the elevator. Which one are you going to cover here? Uh, I'll talk about the intake. So we've got a bunch of different actuators here on our intake. We, we can do cargo and hatches. So our, our cargo intake is down here. It's just a couple rollers. If you will pull the trigger over there. It extends out to the edge of our bumpers so we can have an easier time getting the cargo. And uh, when we outtake, it just spins the other way. Uh, we can hit all three levels. Uh, if you just want to show me the elevator a little bit. So we've got it on buttons at preset heights for all the various heights that we need. Uh, it can hit all three levels, like I said, and they're all preset, so we don't have to mess around with running it up and down and trying to find the right spot for what we're looking for. And uh, I'll leave it to him to talk about the intake. Go ahead, man. Bring it home. We can also get hatches, as Garrett said. And our hatch intake, we have um, a toggle so we can open it and close it at will. We also have a predefined uh, hatch pickup and a hatch drop off. And you can notice that these pistons will fire and they help push the hatch into place, whereas uh, our other um, button will not do that. So it often drops it. So we mainly use that one. Well, 2194, this is a team that's very close to where I live and I've known them for many years. So hopefully you guys get to learn a little bit more about this great team up here in Wisconsin. Uh, good luck the rest of the course competition here and throughout the rest of the season. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.